Hello everyone! Welcome to the Easy Channel. In this video, I will show you how to create an analysis in the front end of Odoo using the analysis menu of the Easy Analytics dashboard. Click on the analytics module, then click select analysis and make a new analysis. Write the name of the analysis, select the data source you want, then select the table. Here I'll choose sales table template which is the template that Easy Analytics dashboard created and provided for you. All the metrics are in pink and the dimensions are in blue. The query has already been made for this template. Because the query has already been made, the fields will show up based on the query written. Once done, click Save. The new analysis you've made is displayed here right away. You can select Add Metrics to add the metrics you want to analyze, and add dimensions to add the dimensions you want to analyze. You can add more than one metric and dimension. It is also possible to change the calculation, whether it be sum, average, or count. Delete a metric by clicking on the X button next to it. Same with the dimensions, where you can just click the X button next to it to delete a dimension. Sort the data by clicking here. The option to sort the data to ascending or descending is available. When I click ascending for the sales quantity, the data will sort itself based on ascending sales quantity. For descending, the data again will sort itself based on descending sales quantity. Click on the blank space to clear the sort effect. Same for the dimensions. You can sort based on ascending and descending dimension data. One important thing to note is that the sort option prioritizes dimension over the metric. So let's say that we sort the dimension as ascending. Then we sort the metric to ascending. The data is sorted not based on the metric, but based on the dimension. Again, we change the sort of the dimension to descending, which sorted the data accordingly. But when we sort the metric to descending, the metric data did not change. Now let's try to remove the sort effect on the dimensions. The metric can now be sorted. Next, we change the visualization of the data by clicking on the Visual tab. In version 1 of Easy Analytics Dashboard, you will have the following visual types. Table, bar, row, bullet bar, bar line, line, pie, scatter, and scorecard. You can also change the visual settings. For this pie visual, you can change the inner radius, select whether to use a label series, and change the position of the legends. For the row visual, you can also change the position of the legends and choose whether to stack the data or not. Once you've selected your visual, click on Save Visual. Then click on the Data tab and select the dashboard you want to place this analysis in, and click Add to Dashboard. In the Dashboard tab, you will be able to view the visual in the selected dashboard. Next, we can edit the analysis by selecting the pencil icon on the analysis you want to edit. For example, when you change the name or the table and click Save, the data will change automatically. Again, you can change the data and the visual, select the dashboard, and add to the dashboard. The analysis will be seen in the dashboard. Finally, you can create a new table manually from the analytic menu here. Click on New Analysis. Write the name of the analysis and click the data source. Then click New Table. Write the name of your table. I will write Account Manually Made Table. You'll notice no fields are shown here. This is because you'll need to write a query first, like so. You can check if your query is correct by clicking on the bug icon. If it's correct, then a success sign will appear. Click on the check mark to execute query confirmation. Click OK. The field will show based on the query you've written. Here, the dimension NAMA is shown because I wrote the query as so. However, when you click Save, an error will appear saying you'll need at least one metric. Therefore, I'm going to add a metric in my query and go through the process again.
Finally, you can choose your metric and dimension. Here you'll see the name of my analysis, the data source, and the table. If you click on data, then data source, and click on the data source I've used, which was Odoo, you will see the name and the table name of all the tables that are pulled from the Odoo database because my data source comes from the Odoo database. Now I'm going to search for the table that I've made manually in this data source. Here, you can see the account manually made table, which is active and its table name is empty because I manually made this table and it is not pulled directly from the Odoo database. If I click on the table, you can see the fields here and the query that I made previously. The analysis I made for this table is also listed in the analysis tab here. And that is all for this video on how to work with the analytics menu in the front end of the Easy Analytics Dashboard version 1. Thank you for watching and have a great day!